Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to be doing a core and upper body workout for beginners. I do have an intermediate and advanced version of the same workout more or less, so if this feels a little too easy, you can move on to those videos. Um, you won't need any equipment, and um, if you don't have time to watch this video, go ahead and save for later and just do it whenever you can. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, let's go ahead and start on our back. So you can start with bent knees and just make sure that your toes are lined up more or less. And we're gonna start with some deceptively challenging leg lifts. Um, so what I'd like you to do is with knees bent, go ahead and um, you can activate the lower abdomen by simply tucking your tailbone in and rotating your hips, um, kind of scooping your hips. So you wanna feel your low spine pressing against the floor. And we're gonna do that for about 30 seconds. So go ahead and just release your back and really get comfortable with this motion. So press your feet into the ground and just scoop your hips. And release and a full 30 seconds here. So. On the way up, I'd like you to squeeze your lower abdomen and relax. So if you really are after toning your abdomen, you need to get used to squeezing, especially at the top of a movement. So just another few seconds here, really warming up the lower abdominals and release. And I'd like you to just be mindful of that movement, really keeping your low spine um, close to the floor and be mindful in your hips as well as we do this next movement. So all we're going to do is we're going to continue warming up, activating our lower abdominals. So I'd like you to just keep your knees bent and go ahead and just straighten one leg at a time and really squeeze at the top of that movement. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. If this feels really easy, what you can do is you can just lift to your chest and press your palms against the floor and this kind of forces your low spine to really press up against the floor, which is good too. But wherever you're at, at the top of that movement, squeeze. And remember to breathe. So really just bringing your full attention to what you're doing. That's like, you know, half the battle is just being present in your body. And just another few seconds here really squeezing at the top. And last one on each side. Really squeeze, you should, you should be starting to feel the lower abdomen really fire up. And release. And go ahead and just take a few breaths. And not taking too long, moving, moving um, on to the next thing. So we are gonna go ahead and do another round of 30 seconds. So starting with the knees bent, go ahead and just lift your chest and really feel your low spine pressing against the floor. So firing up our upper abdominals here, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So I'd like you to hold at the top for a couple of seconds and really squeeze your upper abdominal and opposite side, squeeze. And if this starts to feel like too much, you can simply repeat what we did last. I just encourage you to challenge yourself and do your very best. Squeeze, and one more on the opposite side. Squeeze. Great job. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna move into some planks. You can just roll to your side and so planks are one of my favorite things for building um, core strength and all the different muscle, muscle groups. So um, we're gonna practice this a few different ways to target the arms as well. So um, we're gonna do plank today with the outsides of the forearms parallel. So they're not pointing in, really spread your fingers wide and feel nice and firm. So see if you can press your um, wrist against the floor as well. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start by, you want your shoulders over your elbows. 
And what I'd like you to do is you can tuck your toes if you want, but we're just gonna lift our hips and we're gonna hold for 45 seconds. Go ahead and just lift those hips and really press into your form. Starting now, 45 seconds. This might look like um, easy, but it's actually not. So really pressing through your palms, pressing through your whole forearm. And notice if you're starting to dip through your hips, really press those thighs back and tuck the tailbone so you're scooping those hips, just like when we started. And you are doing great. You should be starting to feel it in your forearms and breathing. All right, guys, we got another 20 seconds here. You're doing great. Keep those hips lifted. Keep pressing through your forearms and breathe. Another few seconds, guys, we got this. And go ahead and release. And go ahead and just, um, you can stack your hands and just take a few breaths here. All right, go ahead and we're gonna do a few Supermans here. So if you want to, just like uh, if you were flying through the air like Superman, you're going to bring your arms back. And I'd like you to leave your legs on the ground to start. So we're gonna do this for 15 seconds to start. This is great for the upper back. So go ahead and just lift your chest and lift your arms, really reach through your fingertips. You're gonna feel your upper back fire up. So really press through your fingertips, roll those shoulders back. This is great for the core as well. And you're doing great. 15 seconds. Keep those shoulders rolling back, really press through your fingertips. And release, you can just turn your head for a second and take a few breaths. So if your arms get floppy when you're doing Superman, you're not gonna get the benefit. So really engaging the arms. All right guys, we're gonna do this one more time for 30 seconds. So just be sure that you're really engaged with what your arms are doing here. So keeping the legs on the ground, go ahead and lift your chest, roll those shoulders back and reach through your fingertips and breathe. You're gonna feel this in your whole back, especially your upper back, rolling those shoulders back. You got this, another 15 seconds, really give it your best. Roll the shoulders back, reach through your fingertips. Lift your chest as much as you can. And release. And go ahead and just stack your hands and take a few breaths here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and lay on our back one more time. So if you want to just come into position for some more leg lifts, just lay, lay back and just be sure that you're rotating your pelvis, just like when we started class, in that healthy way. All right, so go ahead and just lift your legs and I'd like you to lift your chest, just press your palms against the floor. You can straighten your legs if you're up for an added challenge and you're just going to lower the right leg. Starting now, we're gonna do this for 45 seconds, lowering the right and really squeezing our core as the leg moves up. If this feels like too much, you can just relax the upper body, work on the legs. Wherever you're at, keep that low spine pressed against the floor, really keeping the lower abdominals activated. And you're doing great, another 15 seconds or so. doing great just keep squeezing on your way up and one more on each side really do your best great job all right let's go ahead and roll to our side and we're going to move it into one more plank All right, so we are going to come into the same position with our arms. So make sure that the outsides of your arms are parallel 
and spread those fingers wide. See if you can press your whole forearm against the floor. Sometimes the wrists want to pop up. So really feeling strong before you lift those hips. We're going to do this for 45 seconds. So go ahead and just lift your hips and really bring the weight into your forearms. If you'd like more of a challenge, go ahead and straighten that right leg. About 35 more seconds. So pressing the thighs back as we move the tailbone in. Lower that right leg, go ahead and lift the left. You're doing great. You should feel this in your forearms and your core and your back. And breathe. Go ahead and lower that leg. Opposite leg, straighten the right. Notice if you're sagging in your low spine and just keep your hips in position. Doing a great job. And release opposite side. Keeping the core really engaged here as we press through our forearms. And if you'd like to come into full position, you're welcome to try it. You can lift both knees. Another few seconds here, guys. You're doing great. And go ahead and release. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you like this video, you should check out our app, Yoga Plus. You'll find some really great content on there, and I look forward to seeing you there. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.